everyone, this is Susana Delicia and welcome to Smart Graphic Designer Tutorials. This is the first in our video tutorial series, so I'm going to give you a quick overview of the available features here. Let me start with the templates. We have the standard Facebook sizes so that you can start from a pre-select size or select your own custom size. You also have templates for banners that you can select and it also include your own custom size. This software also comes with some button sizes as well as some standard header sizes. The text tab opens up the text panel right here in the right hand side which allows you to enter in your text into your graphic. You can select your font, change the size, spacing between letters, the opacity or how transparent it is and its position. You can set the alignment, you can pick a color font, rotate it, Make it curved or flip it horizontally or vertically. The images tab allows you to upload images from your computer. Select images that comes with the software from the library. or you can also create your own shapes. The HTML code tab is an advanced feature for pro members and it allows you to enter HTML code and add it into your graphic. These icons across this line here have the undo, the redo, you can cut, copy or paste just like you would in Microsoft Word. This icon allows you to select the graphic, the hand allows you to move them within some places on the page, you can zoom, you can reset the zoom, and you can add an image which is the same as clicking in the image tab. The layer panels allows you to position graphic on the top or below each other on the page. You can save your project, load a new project, save the graphic, or save it as an HTML. Going back to the text tab, and notice when you click that, you'll have the text panel shows up so you can add different effects like glow effect, or bevel effects, or drop shadow effect to your text. You can change the background of your graphic by selecting this panel here and selecting a color. You can create a gradient and make it a shape like a rectangle or radial. You can also select a transparent background color. You can also access the demo video from here. If you want to close the tab and give some more room, you can click on that and it will close it up for you. You notice the little icon next to the graphic? You can delete, rotate, move its position up or down, and also adjust the scale. 
Thanks for watching and stay tuned to the next video.